Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will create a search filter in PHP. Means we will in this tutorial we will search the data of a student by using his roll number. So this is the database ta table which you can see: ID, roll number, name, email, email, uh, email address, joining date, marks, and grade. Suppose if I want to search the data of Namit, whose roll number is 102, I will just enter 102, and then I, when I will press search button you will see it will display the data of Namit. In the same way, if I want to check the data of a uh, student whose roll number is 105, I will enter 105 and when I will click uh, search button, it will display the data of that student. So, in this tutorial, we will make this functionality. Means we will make this search filter. So, let's begin guys. So, this is our search.php file and I will open search.php. So you can see this is the database table. I have added a new column of row number and it will be unique. Means the value of row number will be unique. 101, So firstly guys we will create a form tag here. And I will uh, give it a method of. We will use get method. We will pass the value via URL. And use input type of text and I will give it a name of roll number and then I will use a HTML5 placeholder and I will enter enter roll number refresh you can see enter roll number this is the text box now we will create a search button so we will use submit button input type of submit and I will give it a name of search now guys uh, uh, we, are, uh, we have left this uh, action field blank we can also write search.php means in this uh, single uh, double quotes you need to write the name of the page to which you want to redirect suppose if I want to redirect it to the same page search.php so we will write search.php suppose if I enter 101 you will see it will redirect to same page search.php roll number which is this field this name roll number equal to the value which we have entered so if we will leave it blank that would be same means if you want to redirect it to same page you can leave this action field blank refresh you can check it 101 search you can see it will redirect it to same page suppose if I will write search to dot PHP which is not exist means which is not in the directory I am just showing you how this action is working means when I will press this submit button it will be redirect to this search to dot PHP 101 search you can see search to dot PHP not found it is not on the on my computer so, means if uh, the whatever you will enter in the action the page will be redirected to that page after pressing the submit button now guys we will create a table here table so first one will be name second will be email third will be address fourth will be uh, marks and then fifth will be grade so if I'll go to browser you can see this is uh, and I will give it a border of one cell padding of 10 sorry so I'll give it cell padding of 7 and then I will give it a margin top of 100 pixels so I will use inline styling you can give it any class as well so I write margin top 120 pixels refresh now you can see now guys we will work with PHP code so firstly we will include the connection file means data pad connection file so you, you can use include function include 
connection.php now we are using the get method so now we will check the value 101 Oops, I need to change it to search or I can leave it blank means if it will redirect to same page row number 101 now we will get this value by using php cat method so what I will do when when the user will press this search button we will get this value from the URL by using php get function sorry php cat method so you can write your code at the top or you can do it, write the code here so I will write the code here dollar underscore get I'll use I'm just checking that what is the value is so in between these two single quotes we need to write the name of this uh, so now I will refresh it you can see it is displaying 101 so with, means it is getting the value from the URL now we will use the is set function so we will use if I will remove this if is set dollar underscore get roll number means if the value is set then we will echo it out I will store it inside a variable roll you can give any name then dollar underscore get means whatever the value is inside this dollar underscore get it will be stored inside this role variable refresh you can see it's working if I'll change it to 102 now it will be become 102 now we will write our query here so we we'll write query equal to the query will be simple just we need to use the where clause so we will write select star from students record which is the name of the table select start from students record then we write where I will uh, remove this echo from here because I don't want to display it here where then where we will write where a roll number equal to we will use this variable means the queries select star from students record where roll number is roll number means we will use this get uh, data means that which the data which is coming from the URL so now the query will be select start from students record where roll number equal to 102 now we will write the while loop while so this bracket is of if statement and this is of while loop so we will write result equal to mysql fetch array then this query means get fetch array of this query now again I will divide it now this is this is closing bracket of uh, while loop and this is called closing bracket of if statement now in between these two uh, closing and opening PHP tags we will use we will create our new row of table now firstly I write PHP echo result name guys board, uh, don't be confused I will explain this to you that how the, it is working now email address and then marks and then last one will be grade
now I'll remove it I'll enter 101 suppose I want to check the data of student whose roll number is 101 so I'll press search you can see it will display the data of Rishab if I'll enter 104 it will display the data of that student whose roll number is 104 so in this way it is working now guys I will show you that how it is working firstly user uh, user will enter the roll number which uh, of uh, whom uh, means the the user will enter the roll number of that student whose data he want to fetch uh, 102 now it is coming from the URL because we are uh, means whatever the text will be entered inside this text box it will display here mean it will pass via URL this URL so it is roll number equal to 102 if I'll enter 103 after pressing search button it will hear 103 if I enter 105 it will display 105 here now we are getting this variable from the URL by using this get function PHP get function is, is set means if the value of this roll number is set then we will get this value and store it inside this role variable now we will enter run our query so let's start from students record where roll number equal to role means this value where roll number equal to equal to that value uh, which is coming from the URL now we will use the while loop while result equal to mysql fetch array then query then we are using uh, we are creating a new row and it between this td tags we are we we are writing our php code echo result first column is name email address marks and grade so means in this way it is working so guys if you uh, so guys you can see uh, we have created a search filter in PHP. Guys, if you still have any question, you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below. In the next video, we will talk about the update query in PHP. So, guys, uh, if you have any question, you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see in the next tutorial.